Hello and welcome to Learn English with Wordle for Monday the 14th of March. It's our word guessing game. Um, just a bit of fun, trying to guess the five letter word. And uh, if you're a non-native speaker, uh, you might learn something or other about English as well. Okay, um, I'm going to start with... Get there in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to start with the word tough. Now it has an O and a U, so two vowels. And you might be wondering why I'm starting with this word um, because of because of its O U G H. Um, now uh, this is in this case in this case this word is pronounced tough. Now usually um, people who try to learn languages uh, will follow with. Um, uh, patterns, um, you know, you, you see a, a, a particular pattern and you try to follow it. So uh, the O-U-G-H in this sound pr is pronounced af, okay, tough. But supposing you print, supposing you um, change the T to a B, you would have the word bow, B-O-U-G-H, the bow of a tree, right? So you can't follow the sound, the, the O-U-G-H pattern having the same sound here, supposing you had the word thought, that would, the O-U-G-H would pronounce, be pronounced as or, okay? Supposing you had the word though, T-H-O-U-G-H, well, then you've got an O sound. Uh, it just goes to show how really difficult the English language can be in terms of spelling uh, and its pronunciation, which sometimes doesn't relate at all. Okay, enough for... Uh, Blabber. Let's get on and see if any of the letters are there. Okay, we've got a T and it's not in the right place. But we now know that we need A, E, I, maybe. I mean, one of those three would be useful. Um, okay, I've got a way of getting, uh, I believe, I believe the plural of atrium is atria. Uh, first of all, I better just check whether or not it's going to accept it. Um, although I'll tell you the, or well, I'll tell you the meaning anyway. Uh, an atrium is a uh, like an open part to a building within a building, you know, if you go into a, a skyscraper building, and it has a large, uh, very high area uh, within it, um, that's known as an atrium, and I do believe that the plural is atria. So in this case, this is a plural of the word atrium, uh, 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 an, an open or very high area within a building. Let's see. Oh, it accepts it. Good. <laughs> he accepts it, but <laughs> uh, um, apart from being an interesting choice of words for learners, um, doesn't really give me very much, except that I now know that we do not have and an I or an A. So we definitely have E. I was going to say enter, but we don't, we have no... We have no R. E N T E R looks good, doesn't it? But there is no, there is no R. We could have more than one E. The T now two places we know where it can't go. Hmm. How about, <laughs> okay, <laughs> how about 
uh, an American, a word that is used in America a lot, um, which is not used in England very much. Oh, no, no, sorry. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Uh, entre, of course, is a French word. Um, I, I, I was going to suggest entree, but not realizing that's a six-letter word. I was going to suggest entree for main course, a very popular word in American English. Um, but it can't be entre, between, right, is a French word. Entre nous, between us, just you and I. Um, but that's no good. Anyway, of course there's no R, of course, no R. Hmm. How about elect? Now that doesn't you that will give us two E's E L E C T. Yes, and nothing else that we've done before. It will try T at the end. Okay. Now uh, when countries are losing their democracies all over the place, uh, this is a very important word. Uh, to elect means to choose someone, especially by voting. <coughs> um, it's a verb, a transitive verb. Come on, let's get on with this. Oh, oh. Well, okay, I'm glad I didn't choose this T as the third letter because that would have wasted more time. Uh, right. So if the L, there's only two, all right now, excuse me, I've got to put on my glasses. <laughs> there's only two possible places for the L now. It's either the first or the fourth letter. Let's see. So we go dot or dash rather, dash E dash T. And the L is either first or Okay, let's see what else we have. W, Y, P, S, D, F, J, K. I forget Z and X. Should I forget X? Yeah. Uh, one of these days they're going to put a Z or an X in here and it's going to throw me. I'm not going to get it. B, N, M, right. Um, do we have spelt? S P E L T. The past tense of spell, but now this game is American English. I think Americans use S P. I think Americans use S P E double L E D spelled uh, American spelling, and this game is run by the New York Times now. But I'm not sure if they've, if they're using the uh, British English Dictionary or not. Really, okay. Uh, I did see one American spelling in here once before, but I can't tell if this is going to be right or not. Uh, anyway, let's just. Do it and see what happens. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. Now, I, there is a word smelt, isn't there? S-M-E-L-T. Uh, to smelt something. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention spelt, of course, is past tense of spell. Smelt. Uh, there is a word smelt, but that's surely an unlikely word for wordle. What else could it be? Hold on a second while I just go through the options of what's available. Uh... Svelte, with a V. Okay, let's go through what we have left. Could it be Q? No. Could it be W? No. Could it be E? No. Could it be T? No. Could it be Y? No. Could it be S? No. Could it be D? Still no. Could it be F? Svelte? No. Uh, could it be J? No. Could it be K? No. Could it be Z? No. Could it be X? No. Could it be V? I'm not sure. Could it be uh, B? No. Could it be N? No. Could it be M? Okay, I'm going to go with M. Two guesses here. Smelt. Uh, as in the past 
tense of smell. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting word. I have a feeling that one might be quite difficult for some people. Um, okay, we got there. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.